Can anyone else hear like machine yeah, code whistling. kind of noises? Yeah, it's probably There's Scott a... and his fan. Um, right, we're back. We're back with um, we're back with part three of Highway no. of Blood in this weird fucking town known as <laughs> Abattoir. And uh, just remember, if you're enjoying this, don't forget to like and subscribe and leave a comment on the video. Let Scott know how he how you think he's doing. I'll give him feedback as well. I'll I'll I'll, I'll direct him, link him to all the feedback that you leave. And it, and if you're in chat right now, live, leave some feedback. Let Scott know how well he's doing. Uh, nine out one out of ten. No, uh, one to ten. Yeah, that's the scale. One to ten. Um, I'm going to give him a eight point five. So what you're saying is that Scott doesn't go all the way up to eleven. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. Right. What he's <laughs> what he's saying is he wants Timothy to die first. So, but yes, we are back. So when we when we when we left, uh, we had Mary and Jack who were snooping around uh, in a the local church, uh, an old church is, that seems to be very dated, but uh, still in a you know decent uh, uh, decent use. Uh, and as they were taking uh, more pictures, uh, they heard the pump of a shotgun behind them. Uh, and as they turned, they saw a uh, a older man, shock of white hair, wild look in his eyes, pointing a shotgun at them and asking them if he could help them. I'm getting some really mixed messages here. Yeah. Um, sorry. Uh, we didn't uh, mean to intrude. We were just curious about about your church, that's all. Uh, we don't mean any harm. And if we're trespassing, we can leave. Yep. And he he pauses as he's holding the shotgun and he's kind of moving move back and forth between you and he kind of pauses for a moment and he goes, you, you, sorry, you, 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 you don't look like you're, you're, you're from, from, from around here. And as he's talking, uh, you get hit with this almost blast of uh, just rotting, rot, <coughs> uh, rotting breath and whiskey. It smells like this man is just just has been drinking for days. As uh, oh. Mm -hmm. uh, oh no, no, sir, we're not. We're from England. We're, we're just passing through. Okay. Yeah, just getting the car fixed. Yeah, that's all. And he he goes okay all right and he he, he kind of he's got the one hand holding the, the the pump and he takes his hand off the trigger kind of rubs his head and he goes you you hear that righteous fury they they're not they're not from here they're 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 they're, they're from they're from England so you you're not you're not you're not one of them you you that's right you you're not you're not from you're not you're not from 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 around here. And he kind of lowers oh, oh, the shotgun no, a little bit. Oh. What was that, Jack? I said I didn't hear. He's like, "Oh no, no, sir, we're, we're not from around here. Definitely not." Okay. And he kind of calms, and his eyes tend to like you know come into focus as he sees both of you, and he goes, he lowers his gun a little bit, and he goes, he looks at he looks at Mary, back over at Jack, and goes, "Oh no, you mm. looks you up and down, you're." Oh, you're most definitely, definitely not from around here. Uh, uh, my apologies. My my apologies. Um, uh, you know, I'm so sorry. Uh, and he kind of he holds the uh, uh, shotgun with one hand, reaches out with his other, and he goes, um, "Reverend Scott, uh, please, please to meet you." Mm -hmm. And he kind of re reaches out with uh, what looks to be just a grimy hand, uh, has been washed in some time. I, I I sort of like put my hand up. Go, uh, yeah, pleased to meet you, sir. Um, yeah, we were curious about the the church itself. It seems, uh, and what that's been uh, hanging or over the windows and the door. And he go. He 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 looks looks up at the window and he goes, Yeah, what what about them? Oh, they just seem strange for places for them to be. Why would you know that? Oh, uh, 
I, I just read it in a book. He goes, and he, he kind of, he, he looks at you and goes, so, you know about that. Well, uh, then? Wh- what? Uh, I know about what? Well, then, I, you know, and he, he goes, he, he pauses, he looks down at, at, at his shotgun again, he goes, talk, and he goes, you know what? You're right. You know what? Tell you what, you know, um, where are my manners? Come on in, you know, just... You know, by all means, you, you, you've taken some interest in this church. The least I can do is, you know, uh, show you a little bit of uh, hospitality and, you know, offer you both a drink. You, you, you look like you're just dying from the heat out here. And, uh, uh, you, know, you know, sorry for the scare, but, you know, yeah, just, you know, come on in and, uh, you know, take, take a load off and, and, I, and I'll fetch you something, something to drink or something to cool you down. Oh, Look at Mary and go. Yeah, that, that, that is very kind of you. Yes, thank you. It is hot. Yes. Yeah, we're not used to this kind of heat um, uh, being from England. and But yeah, okay. uh, it's all sunshine here and we ain't used to that. Okay. So he goes, great. So he, he starts, he turns to you and starts going up the steps of the church, leading the front door. And the first thing both of you immediately notice that his feet are almost pitch black because he's wearing no shoes. And he, he, he opens up to the door, the door to the church and says, yep, come on in. And then he disappears inside. I look at Mary and go, are we going to do this? Probably your only chance to look at those stained glass windows from the inside. Yeah, but we'll get a much better view on the inside. Okay. Okay. So he opens the door and Mary, the, as soon as the, the, you know, your eyes adjust, uh, you can see full view of what's inside and the inside of the church. Or if you decide to take a picture now, this is the picture that you will have taken. There you go. Did everyone get that? Yep. Great. Okay. Okay, so... So as you walk in, you know, you can see, um, you know, pretty much it's a, it's the smallest church. Uh, and he's kind of rustling towards the back near where the pulpit is. And he, uh, he rested the shotgun on there and he's, and as you're looking around, uh, you see that, uh, uh, the first thing that takes notice is, is there's, quite a bit of a, you know, different than the churches that you may see in England. There's a lot of a, a snake imagery around or inside this, inside this church. Um, you know, probably more than what, uh, uh, you know, what would seem normal. And he turns to you and says, you know, it, 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 excuse the mess, uh, you know, the, uh, uh, the almighty bastard, and he points his finger up there, uh, hasn't been too kind to me as of late and uh uh you know uh, i've been a bit uh, tired so uh uh you know it's a bit of a not well kept but you know it's still the house of god so come on in and sit down and relax and he kind of points towards uh, one of the pews and says uh yeah uh, give me a moment he goes as he does he goes behind the pulpit and standing behind the pulpit he kind of goes below as if he's going to reach something out from behind the pulpit and bring it up Okay. Do you take a seat or do you? Well, I'm sort of American, take a seat. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I'll sit down. Can okay. I use the back of the pew in front to right. rest the camera on? So he, as he comes up from behind the pulpit, he slams down what looks to be a half drunk bottle of whiskey and then brings up two dirty glasses, fills both of the glasses up with the whiskey and starts walking down the pulpit towards you. Uh, he hands Mary one of the glasses, and then he, he looks down at the glass and the bottle, and he goes, hmm, oh, well. And he says, sorry, I only have two glasses, and he hands Jack the bottle. Uh, thanks. Yeah. And he, he raises it up and says, you know, uh, you know uh, glory be 
to the righteous bastard above and he pretty much starts Ooh. draining the entire uh, cocktail glass of whiskey. Okay. Uh, I wipe I wipe the I wipe the bottle up, you know, basically and go, okay. Uh, yeah, um, Praise the Lord mm -hmm. and okay. take a swig. Uh, um, uh, thanks be to God. Yeah. <laughs> I'll take a, a small sip. Uh, counting on the whiskey to kill any germs that might be on it. <laughs> yeah. Uh... So he 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 kind of brings the glass down, takes a step back, slams the empty glass down the pulpit, and then turns, resting his back on on there, and he's kind of leaning his arm on the pulpit, and his hand is just kind of resting on the shotgun, and so he goes, "So, uh, you young man, you uh, you're asking about the uh, well." The things outside the window. What what is it that you uh, that you know about those? Oh, uh, what was it again? Uh, they're basically protection. They're protection. They're, pro they're for for the protection of, he, of uh, the building. Okay, and he goes. Yeah, that's that's right. You see, you seem to know a little bit about it. Are and they like, he goes. Are they like mm -hmm. horseshoes? You know that in England people put horseshoes above the doors, right? Don't they? That's Protection. pretty much what what Jack would equate it to. But this is yeah. more. This would be more regional, uh, okay. and, and and you know more, you know, kind of like Aboriginal, I guess, would be the best way to discover it. It's, it's something that wouldn't be used in any sort of a modern, you know, good luck or protection charms. This is a, uh, you know, dating back quite some time ago, uh, and and he goes, he goes, well. God, it's good to know someone in this town kind of, you know, knows about this stuff. I've been telling old John Thunder over there at the store for some time that, uh, you know, he needed to get more of these for the store, but he just doesn't, doesn't listen to me. And he, he pauses and just, he kind of looks blankly past both of you to the back of the church as he just seems to be lost in thought. Just so kinda... so what, 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 what are you protecting against? I mean, this is a house of God, surely. And he, he, he comes, he goes, sorry, protecting against what now? Oh, what are the protections up against the, the, the outside the window? What, what, what are they, uh, uh, what have you hung them there to protect against? He's, he he's just kind of looks down at his, it puts his chin down his chest. He goes, yeah, those, I just keep telling John that he needs to start using those to, 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 to protect from, you know. And he, he takes a step down and kind of puts his hand out towards you and he rests his palms on your chest. And he kind of moves Ooh. in and just you're overwhelmed with just the stench of his of his breath. And he goes, there's evil. There's evil here. There's evil everywhere. And the best thing you can do, son, is get out of here as quick as you can. Because the evil here will not stop. And he kind of pushes himself off of your chest, drops his hand to the ground. <laughs> And it's e kind of e <coughs> evil. What kind of evil? He, he's he's he goes, oh, 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 and he puts his hand to his head. He says, yeah, e you know, evil, evil is evil as this. God, this damn headache that's in my head. And and he goes uh, and he looks down at the bottle that you have and he goes, um, uh, are you going to finish that? Uh, well, let me refill your glass. <laughs> He goes, that's all right. And he just kind of puts his hand out to have you hand him the bottle. Oh, yeah, you take it. Okay. So he, he takes a long sl slip of it, and he he just goes, I mean, there's blasphemy in this entire village. There's blasphemy in this entire state. You know, all of this fascination with, you know, rock and roll and, and whatnot and, you know, these, these way things that, you know, things are supposed to be and that's why I, you know, put the images that I do on this wall because, you know, everybody, you know, especially you, you look like one of those rock and rollers think that devil is some kind of romantic idea. Well, you're wrong. And he kind of leans in again and he goes, until you meet him face to face. And he just kind of emphasized that as he kind of almost, almost shoves you back a little. Okay. Look, they're just songs, man. I mean, that's all they are. Mm -hmm. Look, there's a lot of people who write about the devil and, and, and things in books, and I've been reading about them. Mm -hmm. And he, 
he, he, his eyes kind of close as you're as you're talking to him, and it almost seems like he falls asleep for a moment, and he snaps back to, and he goes, "Yeah, yeah, all right, I, I that's that's what I'm going to do." He goes back behind the pulpit, comes back out with a similar ornament that was hanging above the window, and he he hands it he hands it to you and says, "All right, take this. You'll know what to do with it when the time comes, but." For the love of God and everything that is holy, you and that young lady over there, get yourselves out of this town before and a deep yawn before before something horrible happens to you. And he goes, but until then, and he kind of turns and pushes himself between you and Mary. I'm just going to take a take a little nap if you don't mind. And he starts to lean towards Mary. <laughs> yeah. I'll be uh, okay. sliding along the pew. Okay, and as you slide away, he kind of comes to a rest position, goes into like almost a, f- a fetal as he brings his legs up and almost immediately starts snoring. I wish I could fall asleep like that. <laughs> um, maybe maybe you need to go to Abattoir, Texas, get blind drunk for a very long time and you'll learn how to. No, I'm all right. So, okay. So, I, if you want to market some of your notes, Pookie, that that you have that uh, you know that uh, those sticks bind it together. Yeah. Okay. Uh, uh, and I'll have it in my notes too. Okay. All right. So, anything else you two are going to do while you while you're in the church while this man is asleep? Uh. I think this is your opportunity to get those photos you wanted. I think we better be quick about it. Before he wakes up again, um, okay. I'm, just gonna po- I'm just going to have a look around. Uh, I'm going to poke around behind the altar. and mm-hmm. The snake imagery, imagery is quite unusual, so I've got to get some pictures of that. So you, as, as you're poking around, you, you really don't see much of anything, except if you want to go ahead and give me a um, spot hidden roll. Oh, oh, this is the, it's okay. Spot hidden. Uh, all right. Oh, is that both of us? Okay. No, just, just, uh, Jack, cause he's looking around. <laughs> oh no, that's, that's, that's definitely a critical failure. Wow. I don't okay. see anything. Okay. What can I say? From my last screw, my last roll of, of a extreme success to a critical failure. Right. So <laughs> as you're as you're maneuvering around uh, the uh, the altar, I mean, if, if you would have seen it outright if you succeeded, but since you said that you were kind of you know just looking behind it, you eventually come to something that almost looks like there's a small door ajar. Mm-hmm. And if you open it up, it's it's an it's an odd shape. It's 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 very long. Um, but you, if you kind of put two and two together, like this might be where, as you glance at the shotgun on top of the altar, where he keeps his, uh, his, uh, shotgun okay. right in, in a small cubby behind the altar. So, but that's, uh, that's pretty much other than, other than that, other than the unusual iconography in here, there's really not much else of interest, uh, entrance in or interest inside the church. Okay. Uh, okay. Well, uh, I'm going to basically just write some write up some more notes for the notebook and okay. uh, wait till Mary's finished taking okay. the photos. And yeah, once I'm done, I'll say, uh, uh, "Shall we get back to the others?" Okay. Yeah. Perfect. Great. Okay. So back to. We'll say during that time, this is going to be happening, you know, approximately the same time. So uh, when, uh, you know, when Mary, I'm sorry, when Wallace and Timothy kind of make their way back, uh, Mary and Jack will be following uh, behind shortly. But uh, when you, um, uh, when Wallace and and Timothy uh, head back in, uh, you can see that Reg is in there and a, you know, a a kindly looking old man, uh, you know, corncob pipe, uh, you know, White white hair, uh, horn rim glasses uh, is is chatting them up as you uh, as you head in. So we were we were at the point where he was offering 
uh, Reg a free meal uh, for the, uh, the little issue that happened between him and this uh, ugly looking man named Seth. And that ugly guy, we we passed him and the other cronies uh, when we, no, cause they went we the were walking up, right? They went the direction. Yeah, you, you, they you, you didn't really pass them. They were kind of exiting, you know, heading to the west as you were heading, you know, back from the uh, thing. So you can kind of, okay. you'd be watching them turn a left as you were kind of heading down and making a left into the uh, okay. into the establishment. So I think as we as, as we walk in and we see, you know, Reg having this conversation with the older gentleman with the corncob pipe, mm-hmm. um, I kind of I kind of note uh, out loud as we walk in, more for Tim's benefit than anybody else's. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Look at that! Look at Reg, he's making friends. Now that's shocking. And and I don't know if Reg hears me or not when I when I walk in. I I, I was saying it more for Tim's benefit, but I did say it kind of a, a little bit louder, a little condescending. Mm-hmm. Okay. Um, so. Hold one second. I've got a little one here. What? I no. I'm. I'm streaming. What do you need? No, I did. Oh, I didn't mute myself. Sorry. <laughs> All right. So yes. Um, so Reg, you 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 can hear behind you as this man is kind of ushering you up to the bar to give you a few meal. You you can hear the voice of a. Of, of Wallace, you know, making the comment that he did and, 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 you know, Timothy with him. So, um, but yeah, this, this man is just, you know, about to, uh, hand you the, uh, you know, he asks the bartender for the menu, which he, he brings up and, and shows to you, which actually they, they, they've been more than generous to provide to you as a handout here. So there's the menu that's open. And I figure since they made it, I might as well use it. And with the front of the menu here, and they even have the back of the menu for you. Yeah. There you go. So he goes, you know, so young man, any, any, anything on that menu, you know, feel free to ask the, uh, you know. Oh, I don't like this bar- slogan. Uh, I don't like this what? real people, real me. I don't like that slogan. <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad that says motel rates at first I because it was it was shrunk down. I thought it said motel rats. <laughs> what time of day is it? Uh at this time it's gonna be probably about late afternoon. Oh shit. About about two two ish or so. Okay, I think I'm gonna have the barbecued ribs and cornbread. Okay. Real meat. Real meat. Real people, real meat. Oh my god. Has Silent Green come out yet? When did that come out? Oh, yeah. I think that was in the the late sixties. I could be wrong though. Seventy two, uh, I think. Logan's Run. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Logan's Run is seventy five, seventy six. I think. I thought he came out so, after Star Wars. I can't remember. Mm-hmm. Horrible thought. Star Wars was seventy four. Seventy seven. Silent Silent Green is seventy three. And. So look, run is seventy six. So as, as we continue to walk up to the bar, mm-hmm. I'll walk up and I'll step upside uh, right next to Reg. Kind of look over his shoulder a little bit at the menu. Kind of look over at him. <coughs> yeah. Uh, you hungry? I am. It's munchies? free, mate. It's free, huh? Well, for me, it is. You know, I'm special, aren't I? Uh, the, You're the, a special something, all right. The uh, the older man kind of turns to you and says, "Oh, uh, you know, oh me, you, you, you've got some friends here too, I see." Yeah, and we he, the, the crappy truck he's got's broken down, isn't it? So, so yeah. hey, hey, no, hey, no hey. offense. The the van's not broken down. It's not a crappy truck. It's a van, and it's not broken down. It's got a bad tire. That's it. Broken bad tire. It's not broken down. Mechanically, it's sound. Vandalay is a fantastic vehicle. It's a fantastic vehicle. I can't move at the moment, though, isn't it? So he, 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 tur- 
he he turns to Wallace and goes, "Bye, go to my, 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 my. You you both have an interesting relationship here." Uh, and he goes, uh, "Doctor Robert Brenner, but uh, you know most people around here call me Doc Bob." And uh, so and uh, you know what? I don't know if I got your name, young man. And he he looks towards Reg. Oh, Reg, sir. Right. Right. Sir Doc. Well, and Reg and. You know, your two friends here. Um, I'm sorry, your name and your name? Uh, I, I'm, I'm Wallace, Doc. Um, Wallace Cumley. You, you yeah. Feel free to just call me Wally. Everybody else does. Well, excellent. So you, you seem like a, a, a fine, upstanding young man, as, as you know, all of you do. Uh, but uh, so anyways, yeah, you're, you're, I was offering your friend a meal. There was a little bit of a... Uh, 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 shall we call it a discrepancy here between a, a, a local and your, uh, your friend here. So, uh, you know what? All of you enjoy a nice fine meal. You know, a, a, f- a friend of Reg is a friend of mine. And he, he says, you know, he turns back to the bartender and says, anything they want, you know, just go ahead and put it on my tab. And I'll, he I'll, goes, mm-hmm. I'll turn to Wally and go, so this is this Southern hospitality you t- tell us all about. I've been telling you. The South is a beautiful place. Hot, but beautiful. <laughs> and he, he pulls out a, uh, you know, a, 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 a handkerchief <coughs> and goes, starts dabbing his forehead and says, oh my, it is so, it is so hot today. So uh, with that, you know what, uh, uh, gentlemen, I have things that I need to tend to. So um, enjoy yourselves. And uh, hope you uh, you uh, you know enjoy your stay here in Abattoir, and may your travels as you leave my fine or our fine city uh, continue to be uh, as wonderful as the company that you're providing. And he kind of starts moseying his way out to the door. Uh, around that time, we can go ahead and say that uh, Mary and both Jack run into him, and he he takes a pause as he sees Mary and goes, "Oh, ma'am, you know." Uh, horrible weather we're having today, but uh, you know the uh, uh, the skies are clear and in, and beautiful as I must say you look. And before he even gives you a moment to respond, he kind of turns and nods his head at Jack, turns and starts walking away. I'll turn to Wally and go, <laughs> city. <laughs> I just kind of shake my head. Mm-hmm. So um, Jack and Mary. Uh, so. Uh, What's the skinny? Uh, he takes his sunglasses off at this point. I'm about to read the menu. And then he puts them back on. Oh, whoa. Somebody's got the munchies. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I'm going to go over and I'm going to say, uh, can I have three beers, uh, barbecued ribs, uh, pork pie, and the liverwurst and cheese and potato chips. And what are you guys having? I'll hand them the menu. And the the bartender kind of takes he takes a pause and, and looks at you and goes, "Oh, all right." And he, he gives a shout back to the uh, uh, to the uh, to the back where the uh, the kitchen is, and uh, he he says, uh, uh, "Carlos, we 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 got a rather big order coming up." And uh, as he's writing this all down on a piece of paper, he kind of turns and puts it up on uh, one of those uh, receipts. Uh, holders and gives it a little spin and he says all right what what the, what are the rest of y'all having i'll have all the menu and i'll go and find the table for the sort to sit on can i uh, uh can i have a coca-cola please yep uh, two up, coca-cola it's two, two up to eat so so he's going to take everyone's order and after a few moments a uh uh, another man come, comes out from the uh, uh, from the back with with your order. Uh, he is right here. Show there we go. All right. So the man that uh, that you heard called out is, is, is Carlos. Uh, you know he's, he's you know kind of a short stout man. He's got a. Uh, uh, black hair and a, uh, a neatly trimmed uh, mustache, uh, wearing a you know blue work shirt, jeans, and a white industrial cooking apron. Just kind of looks like your you know stereotypical cook from the back. And uh, he comes forward and 
excuse me, comes forward and starts setting uh, uh, your various orders down in front of you and just says, you know, uh, all right, here, here you go. Um, uh, enjoy your meal. And he kind of turns and right before he makes it, you know, goes through the, uh, the, um, the double door sitting back in the kitchen, uh, you kind of notice that he just kind of just takes a pause and just kind of looks back at you and gives the whole table a, you know, a once over and then disappears back into the kitchen. So we, we noticed that or? Yeah, I mean, it, it's, it's obvious. I mean, he, okay. yeah, I mean, it's, it's a small establishment, so it's not something that you would need to use, a, you know, a spot hidden to do. He's not, he's not was... hiding it from you. It's just, okay. it's just. What was that about? Can I, can I discern his interest? Can I make a psychology role? Yep. Go ahead. I'm going to tuck a napkin into my top and just yeah. le leather this food. Like, you, you, like you kind of look like, where's he put me? Hollow leg one, hollow leg two. <laughs> and, and he knocks down the half a beer in between mouthfuls. Okay. Um, okay, so that's a hard success. So you can kind of determine from, from his, his kind of long pause that... Uh, uh, he, uh, he's, as he's kind of giving you once over, he's got a concerned look on his face. And uh, almost like, best way to describe it is the, it's almost borderline on um, kind of like pity. Like he, he, he just kind of has this air of like, he's looking at you and he just kind of, oh. Like not quite exhaustive, but just like he just you know he seems like that he's he's looking at you with a uh, with some sort of a odd sympathy or pity with the airs that are coming from him. I ain't getting good vibes on this place, you know. How long have we got till the cars till the they're fixed the wheel? It's got to be fixed now. It's kind of freaky. We've already been in a strange church and. Mm. Well, we should have seen the bloody gift shop. The guy behind the counter couldn't care less that we were in the shop or not. Oh, the guy in the yeah. church definitely cared that we were there. Oh, yeah. Well, at least somebody cared that you were there. He that had place a was weird. <clears throat> weird how? Well, well, I got some great photos. Yeah, like uh, he'd gone, he'd <clears throat> really kind of given up and I don't know, he was barefoot and like he'd been barefoot for a long time, and uh, I don't think they've been having any services in there for um, quite a while. Oh, I, I hope we don't go back to the garage and find out that the end, the car, there's something more wrong with the car. I'm telling you, mechanically, yeah, Vandalay is sound. We just yes, need the tire but, fixed. Yes, but I'm saying no. that I'm saying that these people might want us to might want us to stay here and like I don't know, do weird shit with us. Oh, the guy at the church definitely wanted us to leave. Oh, yeah. In between mouthfuls, I'm going to go, I'm up for some weird shit. <laughs> yeah, there's weird shit and there's... <sighs> so while you're having your conversation and enjoying your, your meal, uh, you, you, you do notice that, uh, you know, two... Uh, they're, they're, they're probably middle-aged men, kind of. Uh, they're discussing something uh, amongst themselves. You hear their voices and they... They push open the doors and one of them kind of pauses and looks looks at you and kind of elbows the other one and the other one kind of takes a long look at you and uh, the one that he elbowed almost without a beat turns and walks out while the other one who kind of is standing there who noticed you first gives you a little bit longer gaze and kind of shakes his head and turns and walks back out. What the fuck? It's, I don't know whether they're kind of really they want to see us or they're kind of taking pity on us. All right. well, I don't think they get a lot of people that come here. Yeah. I get that impression too. Well, I guess we're kind of novelty. And you hear a voice uh from from uh uh as you're talking it's the bartender and he goes oh he says carlos hey turn that up a bit that i i, I like that song and then you hear this
And that was LaGrange by ZZ Top, slinging some funky grooves from our audio bow to your ears here on 93.7, The Arrow. LaGrange wouldn't be the first Texas town with rumors spreading around, and most certainly wouldn't be the last, my friends. As Cat and Jack's old grandpappy used to say, it didn't, it I love didn't, it. It didn't play for me. So, so the the music you you hear the the entire bar fills with the uh you know with the Strange Brew song uh, as it continues to play, and your discuss your discussion about the town can now continue. If Reg isn't done sucking the marrow out of the bloody bones yet, uh, he could stay. Um, but I'm, no, I'm going with you. So I'm I'm not hanging about. Right. Okay. So we'll 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 try the uh James if you want me to try it again at any time, let me know or we can. Oh no, I just had to up. play it over all of you chatting, so what? I don't know why it didn't work. There's no reason why it shouldn't have worked. It, roll twenty weird? is the reason why it didn't work. I mean it's just it's it's <clears throat> Yeah, that's weird. It, it could be it could be a bit of a, a pain sometimes, but um yes. So So what are we doing? Are we leaving? Oh yeah, we're Let's getting go. the hell out of Dodge. I yep. mean, it's particularly appropriate, that isn't it? <laughs> I think we're the so as you now. more or less, you make your way uh, as 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 you're leaving town, and I need for you to give me a um, I need to give me make me an idea roll. Who? Uh, everyone. 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 What's an idea roll? Uh, click on Make intelligence. Make an idea roll to find out. Uh, click on intelligence, I'm presuming? Yes. Yep. Okay. Do, 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 do. Whoa, blimey. Look at my cuz. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Look at those rolls. <laughs> so... I've got no idea, but that's not unusual. <laughs> Oh, you... That's because you're hiring a kite. <laughs> yeah. Well, I've just had four beers and two whiskeys as well. <laughs> yeah, and so... a, you know, a whole side of human ribs. I mean, <laughs> rack of ribs. <laughs> the best so... taste of human ribs about this. Thing. <laughs> Should it come up later? I had the cheese sandwich. Yeah. <laughs> Chicken or fish? Um, so well, I, I, I went for the chili, so I was hoping that was beef, not long pig. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. You know, hey, even even the even the grindhouse movies, you know, they're just like that. So it's it's it's. I think it's meant to be somewhat obvious. Although you know, we don't know what's what it is. So, but uh, anywho, so uh, you know, the rest of you start walking, and you know, we'll, we'll kind of maybe say that you know, Mary is kind of you know, taking up the rear with uh, with Jack. You know, and Mary, you you may be getting a couple more snapshots. Um, as you're as you're heading back, you do see a couple more people, and as you're, as you're walking, they all kind of like, they all pause, and you know one kind of makes a a kind of hard right into a doorway. The other one just kind of almost seems like he's leaning against the wall, give, letting you pass. Uh, you feel his eyes upon you, but any time that you 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 look at him, he kind of darts away. You know his uh, his view, looking at the ground. You know. Um, obvious that uh you know they're they're uncomfortable with your presence um but you know you're you're leaving so it's a it's an odd little town it'll make for a, a you know a great story when you make it to the next campsite when uh mary and jack something seems odd to you um or I mean, even you, more you, odd and more odd uh you you've noticed that uh you, you've you've been here for about you know a little over an hour and you know, you've had some time, you know, prior to here. There was, a, you know, other areas that you passed through when you were at the previous campsite, and and uh, you know, staying with uh, uh, with Wallace's family for a while. Uh, you both kind of come to, to a, a weird conclusion at the same time that uh, um, there seems to be a conspicuous lack of uh, children in town. You haven't seen a single one. I know it's only been an hour, but. Just about every place you've been, you know, there's you, you know, it's some sort of child, children running around. I mean, there's 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 school here. There's a, you know, you've seen it in an old, I mean, worn down, but a, a playground. But uh, haven't seen a single one. It just kind of comes off as a little odd to you both. Okay, um, it raises a couple of questions. 
uh, what day of the week is it? Uh, we're going to say, oh, actually, you know what? I think I may have that. Hold on. That's one thing that I don't think that I put into roll 20, but I have the PDF open. Uh, Let's <laughs> see. Okay, so. Let's see here. And no, this one. Okay, it is a Monday. July 28th. Okay. okay. Mm-hmm. Is, and it's, and it's is late it school, afternoon. About, is it school holidays? Now. What's that? Is, is it, is July, is July like. Oh, it's going to be uh, it, basically America's summer break. So, yeah. Yeah. So. yeah that, that is weird. You think there'd be some kids running around somewhere. Well, there's a school opposite the. There was a school opposite the um, the gift shop. Yeah. Well, okay. I don't really like kids. You know what else? There's a whole lot of you know a lack of. What well, besides kids? Women. You seen any besides you, Mary? No offense. I've not been looking, if I'm honest. Is there, well, is, yeah, there you've distinct, been... is there a distinct lack of women? Well, let's see. There was uh, there was three three older gentlemen at the at the garage. There was uh, a handful of guys at the bar. Uh, the doctor, the bartender, Carlos in the back, some locals we saw leaving. Um, the old man at the Thunderbird gifts with this really shitty shot glass and I kind of pull it out of the paper sack and then uh, um, I haven't seen any women haven't seen any kids either I'm going to get out my Polaroid of the missing poster and Mm. remind myself if there's any children on that picture Uh, there are there's there's a uh, uh, you'll see that there's a picture of a uh, young girl Uh, her name is Rebecca and she's listed as eight years old and her older brother James, who's listed as ten. But well, there's there also were the children the... here. Well, yeah, the, on, on the on the uh, on the uh, you know the little wanted flyer, it said their last their last they were last seen at Big Bend National Park, which was the uh, three weeks ago. With by <coughs> by the date that's on there, um, and uh, uh, they. Uh, that's the the national park you were coming from, by the way. Do I recall um, have, obviously having law enforcement training? Do I do I recall seeing those signs at at Big Ben, or do I recall seeing anybody that at Big Ben that fits that description? That what that would be a good question for me to ask. What would you what would we use for that particular role? Would that be um, right? luck idea. Uh, I think I think at that point, given that there's probably a three week, potentially a three week delay, two week delay, I would say luck, um, unless uh, you want to tie it to like law enforcement, you know, law enforcement stuff. But I think luck is probably better. Yeah, luck or, you know what, I I would I would tie it to, uh, you know, your that particular i mean law enforcement would allow you to if if you wanted if you had a skill as such that would be you would notice that kind of thing whereas other people wouldn't uh but uh i I think a luck roll and um and then it's going to be uh so in this instance if if this would provide you would you do you provide bonuses with luck rolls is that something that's no no i didn't think so okay yeah, go go ahead if you which whichever whichever one you would like to utilize is fine. What's the yeah, I'll, go, I'll go with luck. I'm just like it's a fleeting thought. Like I'm, she's right. looking at the poster and kind of like what's, I'm like looking over her arm. What's the Andy just, Griffith show? Did, 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 was that ever broadcast here? 
You remember yes. the Andy? 